My, what a large Edison you have. All the better to see harmonics with, my dear. Here we have a violin sample. You'll notice the bow scrape. Indeed, if we change to spectral view, you can clearly see the note as a series of bright lines, the fundamental frequency and the harmonics. The bow scrape is this noise between the harmonics. Edison has a great tool to filter this unharmonic noise from sustained notes. But before we use it, we need to tell Edison what note it's working with. Open the sample properties and select the middle note. You can use auto detect if you want to. However, if you hover your mouse over the fundamental frequency, the hint bar will display the note associated with it. As you can see, it shows D7. The middle note has a handy selector, as you can see. Next, open the equaliser tool. As you probably already know, you can use this to draw an EQ curve and filter the sample, but we're not going to use it that way today. From this selector here, we can auto-compute a filter curve that selects the fundamental and the harmonics only, and filters the unharmonics. I've got it set to 100% for the purposes of this jute, but for a realistic sound you probably want to use less than that. As you can see here, it filtered out all the bow scrape as opposed to the original. And for my final trick, I'll filter only the violin note and leave the bow scrape. From the options menu, open the level scaling tool and adjust the offset and multiply to remove the harmonic and leave the unharmonics. Now we just have the bow scrape. That's it. Until next time, enjoy your unharmonic filtering tool in Edison.